In a big farmyard, there lived a little red hen with her fluffy yellow chicks. She was a hard-working little hen. One day, she was busy scratching about in the yard, looking for something to eat. When she found a grain of wheat, she didn't eat up the grain. Though the little red hen had a different plan. She called out to her friends: the cat, the duck. And the pig. Look, I found this on the ground. She said, showing them the wheat grain. Who will help me plant this grain of wheat? Oh, I'm busy. I must go down to the pond for a swim. Said the duck. Not me. Said the cat, shaking her head. I'm expecting some visitors. I don't know how to plant wheat. Said the pig. They left the little red hen alone and went to the other side of the farmyard to laze in the warm sun. But the little red hen got out her hoe, rake, and shovel. I'll do it myself then. Will you help me plant this grain, my little ones? She asked her chicks. Chick, chick, chick. The chickens were eager to help. They dug a small hole in the ground and put in the grain of wheat and covered it up. They waited patiently until green shoots popped out from the ground. The wheat. Grew and grew until it was quite big. The hen knew that the wheat needed to be watered. She decided to go and meet her friends and find out if they had time to help. Which one of you will help me water the wheat? Asked the red hen. Not me, said the duck, and shook her head. I have other things to do at the moment. I'm going to take a nap. No, I'm so tired," said the cat. "If you'll excuse me, I need to go back to my shed and refresh myself a bit," said the pig. They left quickly. The little red hen made up her mind to water the wheat herself. The wheat plant grew well, and the stalks of wheat grew tall. Soon, the hen noticed that there were a few weeds among the wheat stalks. I'll see if my friends can help me now," said the little red hen. She went to meet them. "Can anyone help me weed the wheat plant?" she asked. "I can't do that," said the duck. "This type of work doesn't agree with me. It might make me sick. I don't think I can weed it. I can't tell the weeds from the plant," said the cat, and settled down to sleep. "Don't bother me," said the pig. "I have other things to worry about. Who cares about a wheat plant?" Okay, I'll weed it myself," said the hen. "It's a beautiful morning. Let's have breakfast before getting to work. Do you know what the animals in the farm eat? What do pigs eat?" Mm, I love to see acorns. What do cats like to eat? Ah, this is exactly what I like. Do you know what ducks eat? Thank you, but I don't eat this. Yes, my favourite food is sunflower seeds. Well done. I and my chickens eat worms. Will you help us catch some? You need to catch ten worms. It's a grain of wheat. I can grow wheat, make flour, and bake bread with this grain. Who will help me plant this? Not me. I don't know how to plant wheat. Sorry, but I'm expecting visitors. I'm busy. I'm going to swim in the pond. Come, my chicks. We'll plant the wheat ourselves. Can you please help us find a shovel? Here it is. Let's dig a hole now. Now let's put the grain of wheat into the hole. To make the wheat sprout, we'll have to water it. Where is our watering can? Here it is. Grow, little wheat plant.
We've done well. Our wheat will grow soon. The weeds were gone, and the wheat grew well. When the wheat grains were ripe, the hen's friends came to look. The wheat looks fine, they said. Will you help me reap the wheat? The hen asked, hopefully. No, I can't. I just remembered I have to go somewhere, said the duck, and waddled away. I'm feeling weak today, the cat complained. I have no idea how to reap the wheat, said the pig. The hen said, Very well, I'll do it myself. The hen found a sickle and cut the heads of wheat and packed them carefully in a bag. She found her friends sitting and chatting. Hello, friends, she called out. Can one of you take this bag to the mill and get it ground into flour? I wish I could, said the duck. But I cannot carry such a heavy load. I'm worried that the flour would get into my nose and make me sneeze, said the cat. I don't even know where the mill is, said the pig, and walked away. I will do it myself, said the red hen, getting used to the ways of her friends. The hard working little hen carried the bag all the way to the mill. Our wheat plant has grown. It is time to reap the harvest. Who will help me, my friends? I can't either. I need to build a nest. Not me. I'm sorry. My paws hurt today. Oh, it's so hot, and I'm feeling weak today. Very well. I'll do it with my chicks. Tap the ears of wheat, and the chicks will catch them in the bag. We've gathered the wheat. Let's take it to the mill and grind it into flour. Help to grind the wheat into flour. Tap the mill. Done. We have ground a big bag of flour. The little red hen came back with a sack full of fine flour. The cat, the pig, and the duck came to see. The flour is ready. Can someone make the bread dough? asked the hen. I have no idea how to make bread, said the duck. I don't want to, said the cat, yawning loudly. I'm scared that I'll mess it up. You do it, said the pig. I will do it myself then, said the red hen. She made the dough and patted it into the shape of a loaf. The bread was ready to be baked. Now, who is going to bake the bread? the hen called out expectantly. The cat looked up and said, No, not me. That's too much work. I'm afraid to go too near the oven, said the duck nervously. I'm afraid I'd burn it, said the pig. Is that so? Let me bake it myself then, said the hen. Soon the smell of freshly baked bread filled up the kitchen. The bread was baked a perfect golden brown. The crust was crispy and very tempting. The hen took it out and placed it on the kitchen table. The cat, the duck, and the pig came in, sniffing the air. It smelled divine. They looked at the bread longingly. Who wants to eat this loaf of bread? asked the hen. Oh, I'm really sorry I couldn't help you all along, but this is something that I can easily do, said the cat. I'd be glad to eat it up, said the pig. I love bread. I, I love bread, quacked the duck in excitement. They crowded around the bread, eager to taste it. But the hen took the loaf and shook her head. I'm sorry, friends, she said. You didn't have time to help me sew it, water it, weed it, reap it, grind it, or make the bread. 
It's only fair that you don't get any share in this. The hen called out to her little chicks and fed them the bread. The cat, the duck, and the pig felt really bad. Listen, my friends, are you willing to help me next time? The hen asked. Let us all work together to bake another loaf of bread and then share it. Hooray! Let's do that. Chorused the three friends. You're not only hard working; you're very kind too. Now it's time to bake a delicious loaf of bread. Does someone want to help me? I'm afraid I'd burn it. I'm afraid to go too near the oven. No, not me. That's too much work. I will do it myself then. Let's knead the dough first. We'll add some flour to make the bread. This is. Let's pour some milk in it. It will make our bread sweet. Now we add some yeast to make our bread rise. These are baking cups. Now let's beat our dough. We've made some fine dough. Let's put it into a baking cup. Excellent choice. It's going to be a beautiful loaf of bread. Let's put it into the stove. Be careful. The stove is hot. Use the baking paddle. Smells delicious. Our bread is ready. Time to take it out. Be careful. It is hot. What a wonderful bread loaf we've baked. Oh, I feel so hungry. May we also taste some freshly baked bread? It smells so good. I'm sorry. You didn't have time to help me sow the grain, water it, weed it, reap it, grind it, or make the bread. It's only fair that you don't get any share. Hen is right. We should have helped her. I understand now that the one who doesn't work doesn't eat. It's true. You need to put efforts to catch a fish in the pond. I'm glad you agree. This time, let's work together, bake bread and share it, for we still have some flour left. Remember what we put first. I know. First, we need to put flour. This is the basis of every dough. And now we pour some milk. Meow! <sniffs> it's going to be tasty. Correct. What do we do next? Let's add some yeast to make the bread rise. The dough is ready. Let's choose a shape for our bread. Now it's time to put it into the stove. Quick! Let's put it into the stove. Our bread loaf is ready. Ah, what a beautiful loaf of bread! It must be very tasty because we baked it together. It seemed hard at first, but look, we baked the bread so quickly. Let's share this lovely bread.